and welcome to Tonic Studios. I'm Leo, I'm here today with the lovely Jodie Johnson and we're here to show you how to assemble the Time to Drink Champagne. I love it. You know I like a bottle of alcohol. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's one of our units of measurement, isn't it? Either does something fit a richer sport? Yep. Does it fit a miniature? Yep. Does it fit can I, get, can, can I get a bottle of gin in it? Yes, the most important one. Yeah, absolutely. But these are so yeah. easy to put together. Now, this is the second champagne bottle that we've done. We've done one before. But this is a lot wider at mm -hmm. the base, okay? So you can get more inside this. But a really easy one put, to put together. So, three of your base dies. Now, you may want to use high tack, you may want to use wet glue. That is your own preference, okay? But you know I'm a high tack girl. So we're just gonna go through and I'm just gonna fold all my edges before we go any further. Because it's easier to fold them now at mm -hmm. this stage than when we've got it all stuck together because you've got too much to hold in your hand when you've got all of them stuck together. So just going through, reinforcing all those little lines and then what we're going to do is we're going to join all three together so you've got all those areas there we're taking our wet glue i love how simple this is to put yeah. together but it's, it makes such an impact point doesn't it mm -hmm. really really nice Im impact so that one is going to go on to there and then we're just going to continue and add the other one in the other direction. So what we're going to do at this point is I'm actually going to stick my other panels on while this is down on my desk. So. Do I want to put my hand on that for you? I want to stick these on. Oh, you're going to do that? Okay. I am. I'm going to stick all those bits on as well. So I'm going to stick my adhesive all over this. So let's, let's, let's do the good old hand. Yeah. So we can get it onto all those cheeky little bits um i want to just let them dry just a little bit so you don't have any squid around the edges absolutely mm -hmm. just so that we can really motor and stick some of these down in just a minute now if you get your adhesive onto metallic card as i have on that one don't panic you know let it dry and then just cut them in with a microfiber cloth and just take it off with a microfiber. I like to use, um, I have an eraser upstairs, you know, like the big tablet white eraser. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't use it for rubbing out pencil, it's only for rubbing glue off projects yeah. where it's gone over the edge. Yeah. Just a sort of gentle circular motion and it just lifts it straight up. Yeah, I'll just have a good old duster. That works too. I'm a, I'm a cheap lass, I'm a Yorkshire lass. <laughs> With my razor was only 50p. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll let you off then. <laughs> so just take all those bits, let's put that one there so it can start to be going off. And then this one. So just add in. I love the details of this, the bubbles are... Yeah. Really fun. Bubbles, darling, bubbles. give me bubbles. On to there. So we've got our base in there. So let's bring the sides in now. Good old trusty craft pick, my best friend. So just offer one side up to the other and stick it down. Should have probably took that one off at the same same time. Now I'm, I'm struggling looking at this and I've got my eyeballs on top of my head. Mm, that may help. It does, mm. yeah. So taking off all those sides and then this one as well. I bring that one in, just pulling that a little bit tight around that cork corner and then this one you could just use the bottom of this as well you don't have to make mm -hmm. it into a champagne bottle could you be a nice little plant pot with cacti in yeah no, it's a good size as well like you say there's a, a lot that you could fit into this these to be good for halloween mm. yeah put different color nouveau drops in between those yeah oh you could make them into eyes you could absolutely it, it would actually make a really good panel, that wouldn't it? We it like, would. White with, the eyeballs with like little in. black dots in the middle. There you go. 
Yeah. There's another one. I might have to have um, a go at that. <laughs> I like that idea. I really do. So placing that one into there. And we've now got the bottom of that little champagne bottle. So this, the principle is the same now with the top. Okay. So we've got the three panels. We're going to do exactly the same. We're going to bend all our little tabs before we go any further forward just all the way down just giving them all a little tweak and we're also going to stick this exactly the same as we did the other so three of them rotating them round and then placing those over the top of each other so, and this is why it's so fast to put together once you cut your pieces yeah it is super quick so but although it's a champagne bottle, I'm not being it could quite easily be a shampoo bottle. It could. It yeah. Could. So anything that comes in a bottle, for, for me, I'm rather partial to bal balsamic glaze. Oh, yes. Mm. Not balsamic vinegar, but balsamic the glaze. The glaze, the thick stuff that's been reduced, yeah. All of me salad. A nice fresh burrata, some chopped tomatoes. Absol mm. Absolutely. So things like that you could quite easily make this into a balsamic mm -hmm. that's it it's all about how you start obviously we're making a very classic green bottle with red decoration your yeah. classic champagne bottle but some of the ones that we've got around us completely different yeah. color schemes you know look at the bottle that you're gifting and base it on that basically. yeah yeah be a nice perfume bottle as well mm. wouldn't it it would just it's just lots of ways of change it what well, i'm trying to say tr changing it from an alcohol bottle yes to something else because maybe maybe they're tea, tea total you, mm -hmm. you don't want to give an alcohol bottle and with the nice small size if you cut the pattern actually into your bottle it would be a nice one for like something smelly inside it mm. as well because you're not going to have it spilling out yeah because you've only got those tiny little holes oops and you stuck that up upside down <laughs> So placing that one into there, so let's get some more glue on the situation. I don't know what I'd do without doing this bit. I just find it so much easier. Mm -hmm. oh, we've got our precision nozzles now that you see, to get in all around all the little tiny bits. Just, I just like slapping it on. <laughs> keeps the skin young yeah? it does it does it it's like a peel for your hands it is it, like a just unfold it's not unfoliate what's the word exfoliate so bring in some of those in as well and oh, we're just placing all those bit of dna hair there oh. that's not one of mine it's too dark that's one of karen's in <laughs> She's with us in spirit. Yeah, oh, absolutely. So, placing all the. I remember year, years ago actually doing a sort of swinger card on Crate and Craft where it spins in the aperture mm -hmm. and we actually lost the fishing line. Oh no, and, and once uh, you put that down, that's it, it's gone. Yeah, I, so I actually pulled a hair out of my head and stuck it together <laughs> with one of my hairs. <laughs> Think, things we do. Mm -hmm. So, Let's bring all those wee little panels into the fray as well. So on to that. On to the next one. I do like that design. It's really nice. I'd like a big panel like that. Mark. <laughs> I think one. this one was Darcy. Was it really? Mm. So we've got all those wee little panels going all the way around there and we're going to do exactly the same as what we did before. Okay. You may find this a lot easier with wet adhesive because these little panels here are going to start to bend. Okay. So taking all those sides off and then we're just going to offer all of these. Come on. Yeah, so we're going to start to get that curvature to hold that glue onto the sides of this bottle. 
That's it. So I think the majority of these have been made in 216 weight, so yeah. our classic cards up because you do have that kind of slight curve. And in fact, the neck goes one way and the top of the bottle goes the other. So as always, when you're trying to add that curved card, we would recommend a lighter weight. Just makes life e easier to it does. insert. It really yeah. does. So just taking off those. So we'll start at the top and we're just working our way. Well, you can see I've, if I'm using the tape, I actually have my finger just inside pushing against all those little tabs in, in there. So let's get rid of that clump of glue there. <laughs> and as long as you're making sure that the corner crease and the edge of your panel meet, then it should follow that curve naturally. It's designed to do that. So just one, two, three, so the next one on to here what else could we purpose this bottle for like if you didn't put the neck part on it's um, almost almost egg shaped it's spaceship it is it is a spaceship in intact it needs its aliens coming out of, the, <laughs> out, out of the door at the bottom. You could cut one of the panels out, couldn't mm -hmm. you? Make it into a little drop door. And you could have your aliens coming out the bottom and planets on acetate coming out, out the top. And You could. I'm sorry, I'm a mum. There was a lot more fun of an idea that I was thinking. I was just thinking of the teacup. Yeah. Oh, actually, this, yeah, my yeah. this 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 one, especially because of the shape of it. Yeah, this this could all. make a teacup. Good. You could put your tea bags and all those bits and pieces in there. So last one. We're just going to then take that one off of there. Just going to squeeze that one. In around the houses there bring in that one in and that is going to be the top part of your actual bottle okay it looks quite nice just like that it does forget the neck look you, you could decorate that and it would start to look like one of those um, those Russian Easter eggs um, oh It'll come, it'll come to I me. like the Fabergé eggs. Yes, mm -hmm. that's the word I'm looking for. Those. Yeah, we've lost our words in we the last have, couple of we weeks, have. How, how, haven't we? So this is the neck of your bottle. Once again, three panels. So we're just going to bend all our little tabs on there. So if you did want to gift a bottle in your bottle, where you've got the top of here you would just cut another hole out of here so you've got a piece for the lid if you just cut that out of there that would allow then the neck of your wine bottle or gin or whatever you fancied putting inside it, that would allow that to sit through the top yeah we've tested that <laughs> there may or may not be a wine bottle in one of these <laughs> i don't know sweetheart which one well maybe it's already been drunk who knows so we're just now then I go around and I want to stick all these to that center point in the middle there. Next one into there. And while that is drying, we're going to bring in a bit of bling. A bit of bling. We need a bit of bling. Now that. My my favourite cardstock would look nice on on this the one that's got the gold rib in it. Yes. I can't remember what it's called. Hmm. Yeah. No, the copper one is Sienna Treasure. I can't remember what the gold one is called. Yeah. Love it. Golden was it? No. no. The one that's like um looks a bit like bark. Yes. Strand one. Something whole holoquin. Is it? One's, the one cham got champagne har uh, harlequin. Oh, maybe. Could be. If you know, let us know. Yeah. I was saying the, the other day, I used to be able to tell you all our products with every single manufacturing code 
forget it now. I ain't got too many, too many, and not enough brain power anymore. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I still struggle with all the colour names of our cardstock. Yeah, get in there. Used to be when we went to the NEC and that to do the road shows. I used to be sort of right. So let's order six two six n six two for whatever. Nah, I've gone. Can't remember now. So let's place that onto there. This is a very classic champagne bowl that we're making at this. It point. is. It is. You've got your gold foil on the neck. Definitely made in Champagne and not mm -hmm. not Prosecco region. Yes. Yeah. So we've got there all those little bits. So we're going to start to come round now and put this baby together. So let's get get rid of that. Let's come down this neck section. So bring it as tight in so that you don't see any of those wee joints it's sort of yeah it's quite a shallow curve isn't it yeah so just take those out and this bit is easier with wet adhesive a lot easier yes you have to hold it but if it doesn't land right first time you've got an option to slide uh, it around absolutely you do so next one and just take your time just work your way around there's no rush. I think this is meant to be a meditative activity. <laughs> That's a big word, isn't it? Uh, For this time of day. Absolutely. Meditative. I'll try I'll try and re re remember that next time I'm stressed. <laughs> <laughs> when you've got someone in your ear saying you need to wrap this up now, Jodie. Yeah. Oh, Move on, Johnson. Move on. So next one. Aren't here. I love the fact that you actually have a little collar to cover all of your joins as well. So if your yeah. joins aren't quite perfect, not a problem. You've got a little collar that's going to sit around the neck at the top of here, and then you've got another one that sits around the middle as well. So it doesn't matter. You can it's hide all of your mistakes. Yeah, and that, um, let's face it, we do make mistakes. Absolutely, we do. A gluey fingerprint right in the middle of the oh. box that you've half made. It's when I'm inking. When I'm yes. inking, that sticky finger always com comes in. Mm-hmm. So let's put that one right up to there, right up, and then the last one is going to go into there, so just slide that little oval in, start with that one, and then just ease all the other ones in, get your bo both your hands in, just ease it around. And there you've got the cone for the top of your bottle. So let's bring the bottle in. And this bit is definitely easier with wet glue. Yeah. Because I've mm -hmm. got I've got one chance and one chance only in a minute to get this on level. So we're all collectively going to hold our breath. We are. <laughs> Absolutely. And if it just doesn't go on straight, I'm just gonna put a colour on it and hide it. Absolutely. We'll just turn it around to one side that is straight and that'll be the front. <laughs> That's how, that's how it works, I'm sure. It is. So let's take this now. So I want to push those up just a little bit further up. Don't hold your breath, guys. <laughs> They're all holding the breaths enough to say. Right, so let's get that side. Tongue's coming out. Oh, you know you're concentrating then. Yeah. Knitting needle. Yep. Or um. Get a knitting needle might... in. Will that fit? I doubt it. No. No. A knitting needle would be good. Just Hold doubt. Tool. <clears throat> no. No. Oh, let's just. We'll just make go. the hole a little bit bigger. Yeah. There we go. So if you've got a knitting needle or a um, kitchen skewer. Mm -hmm. Something like that, just to push yeah. your tabs down. But it's easier with wet glue. Okay, so that is the top. 
of my bottle is starting to come together, isn't mm -hmm. it? So let's make its little collar bit. And the collar is really easy. The collar is just literally two of this die. All the little score lines on, on there. I'm gonna come up here. Now, if you've got a computer at home and you actually know the age of the person, Mm. Then get on there and print out a little label that would fit inside there that says vintage and then their year of birth. That looks really good. The amount of cards I used to sell that had champagne bottles on and then the vintage of mm -hmm. birth yep. was unbelievable. So now that, see how that will hide? If I'd not got that on straight, that would hide all those little bits in the middle there, yeah? So if it's not quite level in there, hide not it. Not a problem. Hide it, baby, <laughs> yeah? So we've got in there a little rosette as well. I like the rosette. We've got the deboss die that's going to give you your for you. So let's put that on and then we can make his cork that's going to go onto the top. So we've now got its little label on the front. So let's make its cork. And its cork comes in six, you're gonna cut six of those little shapes out, okay? So I am gonna go through and I'm gonna, you want to bend some as well? Oh, I should do some, yeah. Let's just bend some of these little lines. Now there is a little bit in the middle that pinches and is gonna give you a little lip okay now it's better if you stick that little bit together because it's going to make it easier for when you're folding your other bits together so we're just sticking that lip into the middle okay so let's do these ones and bring that lip in And you're going to do that on all six. So working our way all the way through these. That one into there. I have to say though, this gold, the mirror card looks nice on the cork. Mm. Looks really yeah, this nice. is um, Majesta Gold, our lovely pearl, and it's the one that, if you look at it from a distance, it looks like craft. Yeah. Yeah, but you can actually buy um, sticky back cork. So you, you could, if, if, if you wanted, you could make this out of sticky back cork. Mm -hmm. So let's stick six of these together. Just pinch that one again. And we're just going to stick all those together. I think somewhere in my office there's a little sticky back cork. I'm sure I've got a couple of sheets of... 12 by 12 cork paper upstairs. Yeah. yeah. There's not much we've not got in this office. Is there, is this there? is very true. What did someone come asking for earlier? Tea lights. Yeah. Do you have tea lights? So we, we pulled out the drawers. Yeah. And that's what they're known as, the drawers. They're not actually drawers. They're the massive storage boxes. And literally anything that could ever be repurposed into craft something is in the drawers somewhere. Finding yeah. it again is the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, ha I have a bit of an issue with coffee jars, as you mm. know. Coffee jars are my dad down for. The two nice storage is a coffee jar. I think I'm going to start buying the recycled pouches. It's probably a good idea, yeah. Someone left in our kitchen upstairs not so long ago a jar for beans. I don't know why there was a bean jar just empty on the counter. So we, we looked at it for a couple of days. We're like, oh, that's a nice shaped jar. It's like a little squat, kind of rounded jar with little handles on the side. We're like, okay, it's been there for a couple of days. No one's claimed it. It's ours now. And so it has now gone into the drawers. Ready for that perfect project where we need to anything the that we don't know where it belongs always goes into the craft room here. Yeah, it's like a bottomless pit. If you ever need anything, you know where to go. The, the crafters craft room. will have it. Yeah, yeah. So we've now got our little squat in there. We've got all our little tabs on the top. So let's take away all those little bits of high tech. Once again, this bit is easier 
with wet adhesive, far mm -hmm. easier with wet adhesive. But we're just going to take all those little bits of red liner tape off of the top of there. And we're going to take its base and we're now going to place its base on. So let's just push those all the way in so they're relatively flat so they don't catch. And then we're just going to ease that into situ. It's as if I've done that before, isn't it? You would think. Just, just push that into there. And that is our cork that's going to go onto the top of our beautiful champagne bottle. But how easy is that? Please don't tell me that you can't do it because between you and me, that's the first time I've put that together. <laughs> I was yeah. here for more support only. I was on holiday when this launched, so this is the first time I've put it together. So if I can do it live here, you can do it at home in your own space. And this is the die set that you're going to be getting. Okay, inside there, this is the new packaging. You've got all your instructions inside there you've got all your dies so just get your, your magnetic sheet put your magnetic sheet in there put this over, over the top you can put it over the top of your sleeve or inside your sleeve but that there is that beautiful champagne bottle thank you very much for joining us i hope this has helped for those of you that have already purchased if you haven't already unfortunately this is sold out but don't forget sorry sold out in the uk i should say don't forget if there's something that you would like go onto our website find the product hit that notify me when available ding, button ding. and pop in your email address and then we will know if there is demand enough for us to get some more in and you never know we might just do that so if you don't tell us we won't know <laughs> don't forget to tag us in your makes if you have got this already i'd love to see a little field of champagne bottles across our facebook page that would be even better if they were full if they were full yes we'd like that even more or if they had straws in and were just gifted to us that would be even better um if you have enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure you hit that notification bell ding ding so you don't miss any video whenever we post them if you're a kids subscriber, of course, you've got your 10% discount with your TCK code across the store, automatically applied for you at checkout as long as you are logged in. And you also have your three pay, so clear pay, shop pay, and PayPal to split the cost of your basket as well. Thank you very much for joining us. We hope to see you again very soon. Happy crafting. Happy crafting.